What doesn't kill you makes you go crazy. If you live long enough. What's up, babe? How you feeling? You came to, you came I wish life was like the work world. You know, you could just put in your two weeks notice and be done with everything. And the people around you will respect it because they want what's best for you. Ugly as shit. Ron, what it is, bro? <laughs> what it is, dog? How you feeling? Who you came through with? Eli? Oh, right, bad, bad. What's up, dog? How you feeling? Cool, cool, and chilling. Oh yeah. Where you coming from, B? I was in here, chilling. Chilling and shit, yeah. The moment I feel loved, yeah, yeah. Where you at? next minute I feel all alone. Bad, bad, bad. Two dead, two more recovering after a quadruple shooting in East Ball, Northeast Baltimore last night. It's actually the second quadruple shooting in a week in the city. Seven total so shootings, one double, 15 people shot in the forehead while walking home in Baltimore. Police say it happened early this morning in the 1600 block of West Franklin Shot to death in their Southwest Baltimore home this morning. It just never stops. Society begs us to pull up our bootstraps and fly to Venus, but keep us padlocked to trenches. It ain't easy to show our genius. The trade pound strikes one dome, deal trauma to a hundred souls. Yoga and meditation can't stop blazing bullets from piercing through the livers of my niggas. Guns slither in broad day, when lit off the light liquor. The pain that violence bring, turn good kids to goodbyes. PTSD is prominent on this side. Revenge is sweeter than new nookie, you shoot your life away. A piece of pie, America ain't giving us niggas no slice today. Give kids fentanyl all to treat their nostrils. Tell me what are apostles, the kids who only go to church for funeral services. Most young hummingbirds in the trenches get their wings cut off or end up ODing like Basquiat. Imagine chasing your dreams, then your dreams run off. I feel like my ambition was definitely learned. If we say that someone is born ambitious, then you can say someone was born lazy. I think it's like 97% of the people that's born in poverty in Baltimore die in poverty. I'm not gonna believe that 97% of the people are just lazy. That ambition was learned. My mother had me when she was 20 years old and my father was 19. Drugs was pushed into our communities and my mother and father, they just fell into that. What's up, Amar? Hey, How you doing? I'm doing good, good. yeah. Yeah. Set my old legs. What, your legs still hurt? <laughs> my grandmother, Mary Phoenix, is my mother's mother. She's been raising me day one since I came home from the hospital as an infant. Resilience is something that's ingrained in you at a very young age growing up in Baltimore. I remember I was sleeping, it was probably like 2 a.m. or something like that, and I just heard these knocks on my door. You know, I thought it was probably like a junkie or something, or somebody just outside wild, and I didn't pay it any mind. So I went back to sleep, and I heard the knocks again. across the street and I seen these dark clouds oozing out of this air conditioner. I see the firefighters, they extended their ladders, they snatched the roof off, they bust open the windows and they pulled out this limp salmon pink object like his whole body was pink and ended up being my little brother. And that next day I got a call saying that Fidel had passed away. He was seven at the time, I was 10. And that was like my first time dealing with death. Someone can be here, you can touch them, they can bleed, they can cry, they can, their heart can beat, they can laugh with you. And now he not here no more. And he never coming back. That's the spooky part. But actually dying, that don't really scare me. Death is like the ultimate sign of reality. But if you from and, and live in Baltimore, every year you losing people. That's just a fact, nobody goes untouched. You kind of grow up a large majority of your life in the same place and you think that everything that goes on is normal until you go outside of your environment and you see that it's not a lot of other people that's living like that and you realize that oh, we really got it bad here.
I ain't never been woke. I just read till my eyes bleed on the off day paper chasing. High speed, I ain't never been smart. I just observe my surroundings. A young hummingbird who sparred with vultures, duck shots from devils. Been losing friends since eyes was glued to bam bam and pebbles. Playing Donkey Kong on my Game Boy Color until my mother stole it and sold it for that boy and that butter. Not to make pancakes. Ever seen a fiend handshake? When ill and fix and biscuit will rock your skillet for that cash, a clear mandate. Us hummingbirds just wanna fly and sing out songs in the process and stay above water so we don't clash with the Loch Ness. Zombies, goblins, and disguise of killer cops and racist policies, middle fingers to ops. While we 12 o'clock dirt bikes to war, ongoing traffic, fearless, you can't stand us. Can't manage God's plan, we cannot be managed. Can you love a hummingbird if it's wild or tame? Can you love a hummingbird of fright in the name? Us hummingbirds flow fearlessly like the Nile. Kill one of us and watch our soul run wild. I used to always feel like you can't treat your depression. I've been talking to myself, trying to convince myself that I should get a therapist, just to say I did it. If it work, it work. If it don't, it don't. But at least I can say I tried. My work helped me deal with this depression when my work helps other people. What's up, what's up? Um, they cut my time down, so I'm gonna just keep it short. This poem that I'm about to perform, autobiographical poem about some of the things that I went through. Memories can be beautiful, memories can be ugly. Sometimes I ask my memories, why didn't you love me? Memories, oh memories, they bring me much sorrow. But all I can do now is root for a better tomorrow. I remember these memories just like that. Laying on the living room floor, watching Hey Arnold and Rugrats. Six deep, the police came and burst through the back. Fully equipped and strapped with black gats. It had to be bad luck, cause I was the young black cat. I leave Baltimore and I go to Virginia, hoping to clear my mind. But how can I when all of my friends are dropping like flies? It's hard to carry on when no one loves you. It's even harder when all your friends are floating above you. Lately, I've been dealing with constant wicked thoughts. I just asked that when I died that you all remember me I remember like it was yesterday my heart skipped a beat When I heard my mother call my grandmother a dirty trifling And said I hope you die in your sleep But I remember on Easter Sunday I was nearly grazed by a bullet from the victims My father robbed right in front of my steps Nothing I'm speaking is made up Yes I came up rough Nothing I speak in my art is to make me look tough I might have a little frame but my mind is too buff My head is only but so big sometimes I wonder How can it fit all this stuff? Thank y'all so much Thank y'all so much. And if you're not telling your story, you're giving society the space to kill you. Thank Give you. Give a round of applause, y'all. Black before, 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 before. I want y'all to make some noise for one person. I have anxiety like crazy. I perform because I know there's always going to at least be one person in the audience that fall in love with my work. I'm relatable and I'm a reflection of them. I'm one person with one voice, with one pen, with one story, and I'm just telling you my story and how I feel. A role model has to play some kind of role. If I want to be a real model and show people that you can be yourself and also become successful. I love Baltimore because it made me who I am. I want to be one of those people that start that culture of having people who make it mentally out of Baltimore and financially out of poverty and to keep all of that energy and those resources and those ideas here. Everybody that grows up here by the end of their life, they have this warrior-like spirit, these survival tactics that you probably won't gain anywhere else. The community that we have outweighs the negativity, if you ask me. I'm here for 24 years. I'm emotionally, spiritually, and mentally connected to this place. I wanna live and die in Baltimore. They say this generation is this. 
This generation is whack. I put my faith in the youngest. How clever is that? Huey P said the young always inherit the revolution. When y'all pick up them pistols, just be mindful of who y'all shooting. I know y'all ain't mean to put two slugs in granny's head, but no one cares about intentions when someone's granny is dead. Emotional intelligence ain't taught in our hoods, so we lurk late, strike straight when feelings involved, when tension get thick. I was six years old, saw a kid get slapped in the face with a brick. Someone teased him about his fake J's, made him reminisce about them dark days of not having a pot to piss. Seems like your world is caving in a black child's apocalypse, but no one budges or approve any budgets. For Rex and education, face it, they don't care about me, her, or you. So together we gotta stick. Yes, me, her, or you. Teach skills to the unequipped. Teach that girl how to fish so she can eat a lifetime. Teach that boy how to fly. He'll take the doors off the hinges. Then show other humming birds how to get out the trenches. Some people build fences to keep roses caged in. But we always find ways to navigate in these mazes we've been placed in. Just gotta have patience and lift as we climb. Share plugs and resources on how to make a dime. I know it sounds cliche, but we all that we got. We all that we need. We'd rather die on our 10 toes than live on our knees. Hummingbirds in the trenches.